In our series, Protecting the Planet, this morning, we look at one of the biggest issues facing the world's oceans, microplastics. Check this number out. An estimated 33 billion pounds of plastics enter the ocean every year. Much of it flows down rivers. It even includes fibers on clothing that break off in the wash. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy met with scientists along the coast of Panama, studying what happens when all of this plastic sinks into the ocean and perhaps enters the food we eat. We are exploring the unexplored. On this ship in the Gulf of Panama. I mean, you got some pretty nice toys on this ship. Yeah, what is yeah, it yeah. like to have access to all this? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. A group of international scientists is working day and night. We are here, we are, uh, you know, supercharged. Collecting samples of microplastic pollution from the Pacific Ocean. And sometimes we can be, you know, a bit annoying. We want to get more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. You're kind of greedy scientists. You yes. want more data. Certainly greedy, uh, in a good way. Laura just brought them. They should. Elvise be Vianello and his fellow researchers are trying to figure out what happens after the billions of pounds of plastic floating in the ocean eventually break down into tiny fragments, making them impossible to clean up. Microplastics are uh, small uh, plastic fragments that are smaller than five millimeters. So we're talking kind of everything from like pencil eraser to yeah. less than a hair. Yes. Scientists have discovered that 70% of marine debris in places like the Great Pacific Garbage Patch ultimately sinks. And I want to know what is happening to them. Lead researcher Laura Simone says while we know a lot about plastic on the surface and trash on the sea floor, we don't know much about what happens in between. Why does it matter how the plastic gets from the surface to the seafloor? Because we cannot care about what we don't know. What I want to know is how many microplastics are there, what is the weight of these microplastics, also their size. This is going to go very nerdy. <laughs> so you can be nerdy, myself. it's all right. You're a scientist. <laughs> The ocean is now drowning in plastic, an estimated 170 trillion pieces of it, according to a new study. That's more than 21,000 for every person on the planet. At current rates, ocean plastic will weigh more than all the fish in the sea by 2050. Clear. Clear. The scientists sink this device to various depths to collect samples. Dozens of gallons of seawater is sealed up and shipped back to their lab in Denmark to be studied for months to come. The data could help us understand the impacts of microplastic pollution on everything from the ocean's ability to cool the earth to human health through the food we eat. Fish like tuna, swordfish, sardines. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us are eating these fish that are ingesting all of these microplastics. Yeah. That's true. This is where the magic happens. Yeah, very cool. They are conducting their research on a ship owned by the Schmidt Ocean Institute, funded by former Google CEO Eric Schmidt and his wife Wendy. It's doing what we dreamed for it to do. The Schmidts allow scientists to use this research vessel and all its high-tech toys for free. We are a platform inviting scientists from all over the world, many countries, to come on board. There have been 1,100 or more of them so far. And what they're learning about microplastics out here off the coast of Panama will actually help scientists all around the world. Because one of the requirements of using this floating laboratory for free is that you have to share your data. And to do this so that they could accelerate the pace of scientific understanding among the entire community. These scientists hope that understanding more about the mega problem of microplastics will help inspire us to keep our trash out of the planet's treasures. All the knowledge that has been uh, you know, gained uh, during these years about plastic pollution, I think it's starting to change uh, uh, people's mind. So I'm going to secure the sample. Sample secured. For CBS Mornings, I'm Ben Tracy, off the coast of Panama.